a random guy in the street just started talking to me. Hi everyone, it's Scott here from That's English School. この20年で random という言葉の使い回数が多くなってきました。例えば自分の若い頃と比べるとですね、まあ30年前ぐらいかな。その頃はほとんど使わなかったのに、今よく出る単語ですね。若者言葉という意味ではなくて、40、50、代の方でも普通に使ってますので、まあこのぐらいのおじさんが大丈夫だったら誰でも使えますよね。日本語でもランダムという言葉がありますよね。カカタカナでねでもそれがあっても英語のランダムがですね何か感覚がちょっと違いますねさあ英会話でどんな時にどうやって使うのでしょうか So let's switch things up and get into English mode We're gonna learn some not so random stuff about the wonderful word random Here is the lesson lineup Introduction to random. So, the traditional meaning is when something is distributed according to chance or not in any particular order. Random. For example, the numbers are generated randomly in the lottery, or the books are placed randomly on the bookshelf. If you shuffle the songs, On your music player, we can say the songs are played at random. But there is a relatively new meaning. When people see something surprising, they say, Wow, that's so random. Oh my god, that's totally random. It's unexpected or unusual. It also means that the thing didn't make complete sense. It's often used in a negative or a kind of unpleasantly surprising way. When people use the word random, they often use this kind of facial expression. That's so random. Some random guy just said hi to me. I guess in this case we would use these expressions in Japanese. It's often used for people you don't know. A random person. Another very common way to use random is when you have no idea what's going on. That's so random. Look, John is dancing in the supermarket. He's so random. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, here comes trouble. Hello, customer service. This is Bradley speaking. How may I help you? You ordered a red sofa, but they delivered a green one. Oh, that's about random, isn't it? Oh, sorry, what's that, madam? You want to change for the green one. Right, right, right. And、uh, you're not happy with the red one. Aha,、uh -huh. right, okay. And can you just give me your name and number, please? Mrs. Davis. Okay, yes, Mrs. Davis. Aha,、uh -huh. yes, and I'll get that seen to right away. And what's that? Your cat's sick. Your cat's sick. Oh, I'm. I'm, I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah. Okay, well, I hope your cat gets better very soon. And thanks very much. I'll give you a call when we have some more information for you. <clears throat> okay, yes. Thank you, Mrs. Davis. Okay, goodbye. God, some people, they're just so random. Cat. Using random as an adjective. So, random is most commonly used as an adjective. So, this means that it usually comes before some kind of noun. 
both countable and uncountable. For instance, a random guy, some random people, a random comment. You'll also find that we often use some plus random. Can you feel the difference between these? A random guy in the street. Some random guy in the street. By using some, it feels even more random. Let's take a look at some example sentences. When she called, I was just watching some random TV show. So maybe, I don't know the name of the TV show. Uh, I probably wasn't concentrating very hard. Just some random TV show. A random woman on the train gave me a bottle of wine. So I had never met her before. I don't know who she was. She was just some random woman. It's pretty strange, right? So we use the word random. I never plan my days off. I just do whatever random thing pops into my head. So if something is just completely random, it's unplanned. You didn't really think about it, just random. Now here is a new twist. We can also make random shorter by saying rando. Okay, it's not much shorter, but people say it. I don't want some rando dude on the street telling me he thinks I'm hot. Okay, this sounds funny when I say it because I'm a man, but uh, this is something maybe a woman would say. Some rando dude, just some guy. I didn't watch the Fool series, just some rando episodes from series two. So we're using rando because we didn't plan them, we didn't really choose them carefully, just some rando episodes. Unplanned, completely. He makes a lot of good dishes from rando stuff in his fridge. Now that is the sign of a good cook. Here are the sentences again. Feel free to take a screenshot. You know, I was just waiting for a bus the other day and this random guy just came over and started telling me about his bunions. Yeah, so random. Oh, no rest for the wicked. Hi, thank you for calling customer service. This is Bradley speaking. How can I help you? We've sent you the wrong size of t-shirt, sir. Uh-huh. You wanted an extra large, and we've sent you a medium. Oh my God, that's a bit random, isn't it? Yes. Oh. Have you tried it on, sir? People are wearing t-shirts a little bit smaller these days, you know, the tight fit. You've tried it on and it just it's just too small. Okay, sir. What's that? You want us to send you the extra large size? The size that you ordered. Are you sure? You're sure. Okay, sir. Well, if you just give me your name and number. Mr. Donaldson. Okay, Mr. Donaldson. Right, right. Okay. Well, I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Okay, you have a nice day. Thank you. Bye. Utter randomness. using random as a noun. So funnily enough, we can also use random as a noun. It can be used in three ways. A randomer, a random, a rando. This usually means a person who is a complete stranger, someone you don't know and have no connection with. A random. Depending on the case, it can sometimes sound a little unfriendly, so be careful when using it as a noun. Here are a few examples. I wouldn't take kindly to some randomer on the internet telling me what to do. So if you don't take kindly to something, it means you don't accept it, you don't like it, um, you just don't take kindly to something. I love getting called mate 
by a randomer in the pub. So uh, the word mate is often used in British and Australian and I guess Kiwis and New Zealanders, they also use it too. It's a very friendly expression, very casual. Uh, G'day mate, a few, shrimp, <laughs> a few shrimp on the barbie. <laughs> God, that's a terrible Australian expression. Uh, uh, what's the word? I can't speak English anymore. Uh, accent, that's the word, accent. God, what am I doing? You can't make a movie with randoms off the street. You need professional actors. A random off the street is just some unknown person, an amateur. The party was so boring. It was full of randoms. So full of randoms means they're not my friends. I've never met them before. They're randoms. Some rando came up and asked to take a picture with me. As you can imagine, this could be a pretty weird thing to happen. I accidentally took some rando's luggage from the airport carousel. So of course, a rando is someone I don't know, a complete stranger. So I have to put it back immediately. Here's a review of the sentences. It's a good chance to take a screenshot. It's homework time. Thank you very much for watching this far into the video. I really appreciate you watching this far. Okay, I'm gonna give you a Japanese sentence and I want you to make a beautiful English sentence using today's key point, which is random or some form of random. Okay? Kono Nihongo wo eigo ni shite. Ano komento ran no tokoro ni irete. Ato de kanarazu check shimasu no de. Advice o shimasu no de. Okay? So here is the Japanese sentence. It is this. Eh, kyo yubin kyoku de zenzen shiranai hito ni donarareta. Wow. It doesn't sound too good, does it? Okay, so the next video up is this one over here. It's about ain't. It's really useful and loads of fun. Okay, I'll see you over there. Let's go.